Hello everybody, it is me again, Cook. We're going to do another stream here, playing Total War Three Kingdoms, the new Fates Divided DLC, playing as Liu Yan, now Liu Zhang, who has succeeded Liu Yan. We see the overall strategic situation right now. Uh, we did get into a coalition with Dong Zhuo. Uh, we are in multiple wars against the Nan Man tribes. We have Meng Yan Shang. Meng Yan Shang. And to our north, we also have Meng Huo to our north. Uh, I was debating on whether or not I should address Tu Yan, and I've been constantly in battle with Duo C, but cannot quite eliminate his army. I believe the best course of action would be to retreat back north towards Chengdu, um, even though I think it's unreasonable to think that Meng Ya Sheng is an actual threat to Chang Yu. I do not want an enemy, any kind of enemy army to our north. We may lose the lumber yard that we just uh, acquired, but we should gain back the farm that we recently lost, which, to be honest, I'd rather have the farm back, and then we can move back south and take, retake the lumber yard. Uh, Zhang Yang is kind of vulnerable too if I move north. Um, but it looks like there's not any large army uh, in the near future that can reach the uh, Zhang Yang city. We do have a reform that is available to be chosen. We can do the register of land and population for the income bonus or but I we are not making a ton of income through peasantry yet. So maybe guide to estate management. Trade associations plus 20% to commerce income. Rammed earth minus 25% building upkeep. Or we can take a plus one available administrator. Right now I'm having a trouble keeping all my generals and uh, uh, salaries without hurting the economy. So I think that anything to reduce costs or generate more income might be the most beneficial thing to do. Why don't we do trade associations?
All right, so let's take Liu Zhang northwards. Duty awaits. It looks like we have to retreat back eastwards and then north. It is not possible to act yet. We could build private workshops and generate gives fifty percent income bonus to commerce and 10% to industry at a cost of 747. We would not be your enemy. Iron Archer to Liu Biao. Wisdom reveals a kindred spirit. So I'm okay, declares war on Tuan. So at least that keeps um, some of the other tribes occupied. And it looks like uh, we have public order issues. That so let's lower the taxes back down. It'll be 96 next turn. It avoids a rebel popping up for at least one turn. Let's advance to the next turn. Dong Zhuo wants us to go support his war against Tao Ying. I'll accept it. You will not escape. Here are our terms. Yuan Shu wants us to acknowledge their legitimacy. We're going to reject that. We withdraw it then. Moke declares war on the Zanki tribes. 
joined branches. This general begs you to meet them in a nearby woods at dawn. Upon arriving, they point out two tall pines with conjoined branches. With a smile on their face, they tell you that this is a promise of reconciliation and you are on the right path to reunite China. Liu Yan and Liu Zhang, uh, Zhang relationships deepen. Negative factors, effects from public order, we have po plus two positive effects, local forces. I'm trying to figure out, I don't want to lower taxes anymore, but I'd like to improve this public order. Liu Yan does uh, level up. Scholarship. So we'll give him the scholarship skill. So plus 10% uh, character bonus for the entire army. And the we need to make him an administrator. Oh, I made him heir, so he can't be an administrator. Oh wait, no, he should be able to be allowed to be an administrator. Upgrade the armorer. We can upgrade nothing else really. Private workshops. We're gonna upgrade the private workshops to for 900. It'll take two turns. Plus 75% income from commerce, and then plus 15% income from industry. We'll recruit another axe band. All right, let's go to the next turn. So they are attacking. The lumber yard. Which we should actually be able to fight them off. Yeah, we should easily defend the, be able to defend this although the, it depends on how strong their generals are really are because what last time we had now I have much more out I'm much more outnumber them this battle but in the last episode had a similar situation and killed off all their troops and then their two generals just rot the rest of our army
Miasma. Passive buff. Looks like a decent enough starting position. And they only have this one slinger unit. Would be nice if these spears could for have an advanced formation. Yeah, so we should easily defend this. Look, the enemy run. Foot soldiers are getting very tired, are shaken. So this front line is looking a little weakened. We've got their foot soldiers surrounded. Looks like their generals are are coming in to kill. So I need these spearmen though. Bring out all, all the forces against their generals. Pull out all the stops. Shea Leo. Success or Shea Leo. Wu Shi Nu. And they are routing. And we claim that a victory. Heroic victory.
So that puts uh, Meng Huo's army on the run. We probably have rebels popping up. Actually, we do not. Sao Sao requested Liu Dai to join their war. Sao Sao requested Liu Bei to join their war. Tao Ying requested Kong Rong to join their war. And Dong Zhuo declares war on Kong Rong. So we got a large war. Um... A large war starting in the east. Arrogant versus arrogant. Arrogant versus arrogant. That's a lot of arrogance. Side with the first. Who owe you? I believe right will prevail. Let's finish off this Destroy army here. We'll just delegate this one. Let today's victory rekindle our passion. Um, we will not. You are free to go. We will not recruit will the general. And we will march towards the farm and take the farm. See if we have any camp followers. A philosopher giving plus six cunning, plus ten satisfaction faction wide. Might be a good one to do. Let's do that. My lord, I answer your. Let's request. give Tayashi the gray stallion. Ashi, this character's legendary repute excels at locking down enemy generals or holding the choke point. Uh, both of my my assignment generals, my assignment uh, nobles, I have ranked up. I'll give them both intuition. They may be administrators and down the in the future. Li Yu Biao gives, uh, guarantees autonomy. Oh, so those are Nan Man rebels. I see now. 
Shields of the South, Tiger Warriors. It's actually pretty. They ain't the peasant, um, the peasant types that I get used to. Let's take the farm first. could upgrade our private workshops even further and let's do that anything to generate a little bit more income although a declining population does not help Sao Sao requested Liu Dai join their war. Zhang Shao signed a peace treaty with Liu Dai. Do you see signs peace with the Zhangki tri tribes to on to on signs peace. So the tribes are starting to call on armistice with each other, which would not be good for our cause as they may ally themselves together and attack in as one against me. The young emperor comes of age as the current incumbent upon the throne and recipient of the mandate of heaven. Many across China will hold the word of the emperor Xian and uh, highest regard. Warlords across the country will be ambitiously seeking imperial favor through showing how they have brought prosperity to their people and defeat to the emperor's foes, crushing the enemies of the Han and maintaining a happy population with food in their bellies will likely sway his favor. But with such power resting on the shoulder, shoulders of someone so young comes in an increased risk of manipulation and skullduggery at less scrupulous hands than your own staying in the emperor's good graces will be important in the years to come but ensuring he does not favor your enemies may prove to be just as important so imperial intrigue this faction holds influence over the emperor gain imperial favor to get this position measure your imperial influence against every other known faction we sit at a 90. Ooh, and you also get bonuses. Plus 8 satisfaction. Minus 8% corruption. 1 food surplus. Yuan Shu has very low favorability. Increase favor at a cost of use actions to influence imperial favor. Increasing or decreasing the favor your own or other factions. Once you have influence over the emperor, you will gain the ability to perform special actions and access new missions.
imperial favor is 90. Gain favor with the emperor by using political actions to increase your standing. So we can increase others' imperial favor? Is that what we're doing? Faction Council, Grand Excellency. So is the Chancellor not part of the Council? Oh, that's interesting. That makes no sense. Why wouldn't the Chancellor be a part of the Council? Same thing with uh, Liu Yan. So the, if we loot and occupy, we'll get the 10 aspiration. I think we can use uh, one of our inheritance bonuses. Private tutelage. Instantly levels up a character. That's pretty powerful. I guess we can just do Liu Zhang. So now we're down back to zero aspiration. It's gonna be a it'll be a while to build up that aspiration to rebuild up the aspiration points. We have clarity we can choose with the plus eight authority. Um, understanding plus one starting rank for all recruits for the faction leader. There's perception. Composure enables night battles, which that's actually a pretty that's a pretty nifty thing to have. I'm actually going to do that. Concubine. Oh, they do the same thing. My lord. I hope all is well. Oh, military Jian. That might be a good sword for Tayashi. Yeah, it's an upgrade for sure.
damaged building. We can still just keep doing um, income bonuses for now while we have those to choose from. Now there's a large the largest army I've seen in a while from one of the Nanman tribes. So they pose a threat to our current campaign. It's a Menghuo, probably the stronger of the tribes. Yuan Shu declares his intentions. So um Yuan Shu declares war on the Han Empire. Let's take a look at the overall diplomatic situation. So we are at war with Ma Tung still. We are technically at war with Tao Ying, but that's very remote and distant. We are in, we are allied and in coalition with Dong Zhou. And of course, at at war with the Nanman tribes. Well, we might as well negotiate a trade deal with the Han Empire. Well met, friend. That should provide us with uh, an additional 368 gold a turn, which, um, you know, it's not a ton, but it is more than we currently have. So that almost brings us up to 600 gold a turn. Fugitive Officer Su Ji. We might recruit them. Who else is available? Zhang Li Song. So we have some legend, and there is Zhi Ling. Let's recruit the legendary vanguard. We'll make him commandant. Uh, there goes our monthly income. <laughs> but we get to try out the faction council.
Faction Council is set to be convened in the spring of each year, so you'll be able to hold court at the start of next year. Let's eliminate the Nanmen rebels. A triumph to be remembered. No need to detain them. We'll ransom the troops for money. Now we need to move back towards Zhang Yang. We are making 11 food. Unfortunately, Xi Ling it doesn't really offer a lot of bonuses in, in regards to assignments. One day, one day Harmony will return. We patiently await your answer. So be it. All right, so they go after the, the lumber yard again. This time it's the large force under Meng Huo and I am outnumbered. We will we will fight the battle on the ground and will most likely be a loss, but we'll see what damage we can do to their forces. Let's see what the dispositions look like. They have a force. They have divided their forces into three different branches. I feel like this. These two gates will be tough to defend. See, this gate, yeah, I don't have enough troops to defend all the possible gates.
They have lots of slingers. Run. They did short work of those spearmen. That's not good. Stop, I feel like this kid is secure. Oh, they got through there. Oh, they, that was pretty easy for them. Uh, I routed one of their units. Oh, well, here comes those. Here comes their elephants. Their elephants are just tossing my men around. The enemy unit flees. Jeez. Ah, oh, he's getting up though. Ah. Uh, looks like they're. If that's my missile troops, here come their infantrymen, though. Run. I mean, I know they outnumbered me, but it wasn't by that much. And they did real short work on me. Uh, we still we inflicted about 500 casualties. So it wasn't that bad. It was bad. All right, so they take the lumber yard. But that's fine. I got Liu Zhang moving south. But now we got two larger armies that are forming up 
and pose a threat. Faction Regency, Wang Quang. Faction is destroyed. They lose a settlement. Liu Shang is assassinated. We need 4,600 to, uh, to upgrade to a large city. I cannot upgrade the private workshops any further. Grain farm. Occupied city. So we can upgrade the Nan Man city. Conscription. Harbor. Well, why don't we upgrade the harbor? Your approval. You give subservience, we will become subservient to Yuan Shu. I reject that. We withdraw it then. All right, so Meng Huo comes straight out to attack. It's going. To, it's a pretty even fight here. Why is Liu Yan so weakened? And sa same with Tayashi. Hmm. Battle of Zhang Yang. Yeah, why is he so low on hit points? Not understanding. Is it from the delegated battles? There is this little ridge line here that we can maybe occupy.
All right, we watch the enemy as they approach. And really should. I think we're going to do the mixed spear formation. Now that immobilizes them, but this acts as a uh, pretty solid anchor right here. If they try to outflank me on my left, I can use the cavalry to sweep over there. If on if they try to hit the weaker or more vulnerable uh, sword and axeman, then I can maybe use the cavalry to hit them on that flank there. I'm going to go after those slingers. We'll use the hail of arrows on the elephants. Try to get in the flank of or in the rear of their main force, and the elephants are running. Liu Shang's contingent is just wreaking all kinds of havoc. Uh, one of my cavalry units is running. And you get the spear, uh, the Dong, Dong Zhao Bing units. Let's get my swordsman out here too. Try to disengage the spears. Zhang lost his horse. Kelverman never loses his horse. Yeah, 
And it's probably not going to capture Meng Huo. Although Tashi would be the perfect guy to try to take him. Our men flee the battlefield. Ugh, I didn't see this general back here. Close victory? That was a close victory? was not close at all. Although Tayashi's hail of arrows is very effective against the elephants. That was kind of cool to see. Has been bestowed on us. They lost 814 to our 408. Yet they considered that a close victory. Eight, if I ransom, I can ransom for 845. It's only 2% replenishment. You are free to go. Here comes the next army. Tuhan. I mean, they really don't have anything special in this army. This is a weaker arm in Meng Huo. I don't know if the AI strategy, just pure attrition against my forces, just keep, keep pounding on the door to break it in. Because that's what it seems like. Oh, same battlefield. And we'll employ the same type of strategy. So they have a lot of axemen, a couple spears, and some slingers. No elephants this time. Although their generals are at full strength. Meng Huo's army, his generals and himself weren't, I don't think they were at full strength.
Yeah, we'll get in around the rear. Let's watch the hail of arrows. The enemy warriors are running. And just another rear attack on their Axemen. Oh, what's going on with Liu Yan? Oh, he got caught up in those Axemen. So in one shot, Tayashi just like kills the uh, the enemy general with his hail of arrows. Today's victory rekindle our passion immediately. So, two armies defeated two times in a row. Looks like someone leveled up. Who owe you, the administrator of Shu? Warblade. I think we want Tayashi to have the Warblade. One day harmony will return. Yes. Yes, we do. Your skill. 
Oh, really? We have cause to be proud. Could not eliminate the rebels, huh? There is no need to detain. Them. You are free to go. Battlefield Surgeon, Li Yu Yan gained 750 experience. Oh, they retreated in the wrong way. Forces of order have won the day. They will fight for us in future. There's Duo C again. Now he, his forces are small, but he has a large recruitment pool. But he would have to retreat back to his own lands. Minus 5% retinue upkeep. That's a good accessory. A just war is the price of peace. Hello! Is anyone here? Book of Mountains plus 10% campaign movement range. What does Liu Zhang have currently? Discourses of the States. Interesting. Should we exchange it maybe? I mean, that would be a good ancillary for like a second army leader. I'm not so sure. I might be able to upgrade the city, and I can. And I will. Although that uses up all our income. To me, I guess we need to all right, so they are not recruiting, so Meng Huo cannot recruit his army. He has to retreat back to Juti. Duo C goes straight and in deep into our lands. The finest armor. A true heart. Oof. Our garrisons might be able to fight off these armies, though.
because they're small. They're not going to be recruiting anymore. But I don't like them deep in my territory. Although the only way to really finish these wars off is to gotta take their lands. What's going on up north here? Let's take a look. Gong Du has carved him out some himself some territory. A lot of them abandoned um, commanderies up here. Yuan Shao is marching on Chang'an. Yuan Shu has Lo Yang under control. Trade agreement. Oh, he wants the book of mountains and seas. Do you want something else? Maybe you'll take the war axe. I'll give you the war axe. For a trade deal, four sixty five. Sunka and signs peace with Liu Biao. Faction council ready to convene. Alright, this is the first time I've seen the faction council mechanic. Imperial favor, the emperor sends aid to your troops. Oh, how nice. Well, that's very nice of him. Minus two mustering turns, minus 30% recruitment costs, minus 30% upkeep for all units for 10 turns. That's a huge bonus. Ooh, how cool. Faction Council of 198. Each member of your faction council can propose up to a maximum of two actions, but will only be able to enact one of these. Council member members will not offer the same actions, and each will be unique for that year. Defensive guerrilla actions. Hostile force marches through your lands, night raids, obstacles in their path, and no safe shelter will, over time, drain even the most motivated soldiers of their vigor. Effects. Fatigue and battle... Locked to below tired, or locked to tired. Minus 30% campaign movement range. Minus 10 for the army of two. Okay. It costs 500. I know pirates of the Gulf of Tonkin who are growing fat and bored. You could arrange it so that their efforts are directed to southern coastline... Settlements. I mean, I guess you don't have to. That's for six turns. Two on. We'll do it. We'll try it. We'll do it. Yeah, Meng Huo and Lady. There's Lady Zhu Rong. But she has not declared war on me. Alright, 
So we got all kinds of armies in our path. I can't reach any of them except for Tuan. Destroy the foe. Make them fear us. Uh, we can we can start a second army now. With this extra income. I also have a reform to choose from. Disables technologies, Corvée labor. Is that even a thing that I have unlocked? Horse magnets plus 4,000 population growth plus 20% trade influence. Build a tax collector. Minus four public order, though. I feel like I should just destroy that building. I can't build anything else. It won't allow me to build anything else. So you're stuck building the tax collector. So Ma Tung now seeks peace, but he, he's demanding all kinds of territory. That's ridiculous. Get out of here. Your decision. All right. So it looks like Duo C is going to try to take one of the. I think that is that the salt mine. At Zhang, we might be able to fight him off with the garrison. It'll be, it might be a struggle. He's got a lot of units, but they're all very low, low in numbers. But they are actually, they're pretty strong units. He's got those dart, poison dart men. And those, I think those are vi the Viper troops. Plus he's got three generals. So most likely, even if I route his and all his retinues. Um, also, this is not very well defensible terrain. So don't think I, I don't think I'll be able to fight him off.
Let's pony up on this hill here. So we'll try to defend this hill, see if it gives us any kind of advantage. Unleash your fury, archers. Our hidden men have been seen. these dartmen uh, I should be taking those guys out with my archers men are spotted. Uh, that doesn't look good for our, our troops defending the ridge here with their general just smashing through everyone Yep, they're already routing. We are being pushed back. Yeah. That's an understatement. Alright. God, I can't even get some good shots on them. Yeah, they didn't even lose anything. I didn't really lose that much in men anyways. They all ran away before they could die. Uh, so that means I'm going to have to move back north since my garrison couldn't do the job on their own. Zhang Jiang declares war on Gongdu. A just war oh, see, I'd like to just, let's just take care of you. to be remembered you are free to go they will fight for us in future and then march back right north now. see now he's he'll be able to recruit troops so I got it I have to take duo C out before he gets too strong so we raise an army in Chengdu we can we can form up Jiling. Peace through conquest. And maybe Huo Yu. To war. Uh, that wipes out my entire reserves and cash. And still a small force. You beckon? Celestial Sphere. 
plus two morale for militia units in this army. Might be a good one to start. Or actually campaign movement range. How may I serve, my lord? We'll give the fan to Huo Yu. Ooh, look at this armor. Armor of the Adept. I like it. Ooh. Looking pretty good there. Gotta admit. Might be too cavalry heavy. I am here to serve, my lord. All right. Act quickly. All right. Public order is rising, so that's a good thing. Population is growing, so that'll help with income. All right, character salaries are getting kind of high. Unit upkeep. So I still have nine turns for Imperial aid. Uh, our uh, Imperial favor is growing. We should probably move on to the next turn. See what happens here. See what the enemy does. Alright. Do OC move south? That's an interesting move. Is he, uh, is he going for the farm? I guess we'll just retake the salt mine. Seek compromise. Uh, I can't get there in time. Order will spread throughout. Maybe. Order must be obeyed. Honorable versus deceitful. We'll go with honor. Moving out. To OC Meng Ho. Meng Huo has two armies. And a new army under Tuan. Trust instinct. Follow the heart. Should probably get some archers in this army. All right, so they attack Zhang Yang. I have 902 men. They have two armies attacking. So that gives them six generals. Oh, Yin Yu is the commander, though. All right, let's start the battle. Let's see. Maybe we can. Maybe we can fend them off. 
We still have the numerical advantage, plus we have the defenses. And this is a, re a pretty defensible city. five barricades that we can use. We'll just barricade there. And then we can set up defenses here. You want archers here, archers here, here, spears, and they'll just form a shield wall there. Nature's ally, so he does have the the nature's ally buff. Wonder if I even defend this gate here. the wrong unit. Alright. I kind of like it. Let's do it. Enemy reinforcements are here. I wonder if you could defend on that island there. Humiliating yourself. I mean, they do have to Find your focus. march a long they distance just to get to me. All the while taking on all really kinds fine. of uh, damage from missiles. 
Oh, there's towers here too. That's... The enemy warriors yep, are so they're already running. routing. Oh, I need to get you guys. Attacked. It looks like we're routing one of their generals, so that's good. I think it's time to pull back the cavalry. Oh, they have elephants. Just seen an elephant unit. Need to get these swords over here. Now let's try charging again. So our cavalry units remain pretty strong. They the haven't lost too many men. Oh, they have their generals coming over here now. We need to get back. So the retinues have been pretty much demolished. Now it's just the generals. Run. Who's running? See what you're made of, uh, Ian Yu. Well, they still have another force over Look, here. The enemy run. Well, we're starting to pick off their general, so that's good. They're, this force is already wavering. Apparently, my retinues are doing some damage to their generals. Oh, look, that whole force is routing. And we got the victory. We're able to fend off Zhang, or defend Zhang Yang successfully. Good job. Way to go, Yin Yu. Heroic victory.
both armies just annihilated. Well, maybe not annihilated, but almost. Rewarded. Actually, they only lost 189 men. Toil bolsters character. Duo C tries to take the farm. This does provide a little bit more defensive terrain, but we are outnumbered by 200 men. See if he split his force. Hey, he did. There. Yeah, this most likely will not end well. Not a whole lot I can do with this one. Their generals will be able to... Duo C is strong. He can uh, wreak havoc alone. They also have some spearmen. Let's see. Watch out. They'll be, able to, they'll be able to defeat this lonely unit here. Oh, they're getting hit with poison darts. Oh, look at their... These poison dart troops. Still eager. See how they're doing. Now uh, they're finally starting to waver. Our men are running. Those are hidden vipers. Poison darts and hidden vipers. And now my position's Our outflanked, run. though. I probably should have just defended the inner circle. Looks like we're on the run. Our men flee the battle. Did some damage. I took out about two hundred of their men.
now I'm losing money. So Duo C is causing me some grief here. All right, let's take back the salt mine. First battle for Xi Ling. We have passion and zeal. And who will do not waste it? Come now. Who are you? Back to the wheel. Let's see these two guys in action. It's time to become men, men. I grow impatient. Are we fighting or not? Be like a frontline cavalry force. Stone bulwark, ranged black chance. No fire arrows, so I can't burn out the tree, burn the units out of this hill. Alright, now I see them. Almost ran into a bunch of spears. The enemy unit flees. What cowards! Take these swords and try One to take these uh, to victory. spearmen.
So we take back the salt mine at little loss. Only 12 men lost. This belongs to us now. Oh wow, that salt mine provides a lot of income. Serving China. <laughs> Why he say that so slow? Serving China. <laughs> Serving China. All right, high satisfaction. That's good. So we're making back six eighty eight income. We still have seven turns for the imperial aid. Let's do the next turn. I have a request for you. We withdraw it then. Oh, Meng Hu, uh, attacks. Is he attacking Zhang Yang again? He is. You just don't learn, do ya? You have weaker forces than than before. What's that unit there? They do have their elephants, but they but we didn't get to face the most of their troops before. They all ran away because they did suicide general moves on me. There's no other place to put the barricade. Oh, I, that was it. I think we'll do the same thing we did before. It did seem to work well. Try defending this gate here with the spears. We'll put swords there. Archers here. Archers here. Reinforcements are here. Half their armory is slingers almost. I need to 
I need to use my arrows over here. The enemy warriors are running! Let's watch them charge into the spear wall. Just hit him right in the flank there. Guard mode, guard mode. There's this other army. Oh, there. Go back that way now. So another small contingent over here. At the ready. I think actually let's pull these swordsmen back. I don't I, they'll get eliminated all by themselves. So we're gonna eliminate Xian Z. We might route more Our units. Flee uh, who's fleeing now? Of the archers. The enemy general is fallen. Let's take out Meng Yu before uh, the spear guards route. Uh, Yin Yu. Took some damage though. I shall reclaim my honor. That was supposed to scare me. Look, the enemy run. Enemy general is fallen. Oh, the towers took out an enemy general. Thank you, towers. Go on, keep up. I know you can do it. I dearly hope your blade is sharper than your wit. Victory grows ever closer. Oh, 
All right, so their generals are starting to flee. Oh, and then we claim victory. So good job, close victory. They just keep pounding and pounding away into my forces and they, I keep whittling them down. Our victory is proof of heaven's approval. We gained a thousand gold in that victory, so that was well worth it. They fought only for their beliefs. They have suffered enough. Return them to their kin. Duo C just keeps getting out of my my grasp. So Meng Huo's trying to form a coalition. He and you uh, get some bonus experience, like the wind. Not satisfied with winning the battle, our general overtakes retreating enemy troops and lays a successful ambush. Yin Yu is starting to become a legend himself. Oh, so Meng Huo has the Zanki tribes attack Sham OK. Imperial favor, Imperial food reserves. We get plus 10 food production. Act with honor. All right, let's take the farm back, though. Let today's victory rekindle our passion. This place is ours now. So it doesn't look like Jilin can attack Duo C on his own. Order will spread will the garrison our... come out to support? No, he won't. So stay at the salt mine because you can get the reinforcements from the garrison and he'll have to lay siege to Chengdu. There's no way he could take it on his own. See, my tongue doesn't have that large of lands um, I'm one of the stronger factions though These armies to the south do not look um, very threatening. If we can eliminate Duo C here, they'll go a long way to taking these lands. I need to be able to take these lands here to, to stop their invasions. Their invasions have slowed my 
expansion down to a crawl because I have to keep moving back into my territory to defend against their incursions. Now, the garrisons have done a nice job overall. But it's still, I to completely eliminate their, their men, I have to keep going back and finishing them. And they just keep coming back and they keep coming back. can build up the grain farm well we can expand the salt mine that's good Done much with the boxy farm. And upgrade the Jian sword guards. What cavalry can we can't upgrade any cavalry? We could probably upgrade these archer militia to the Dong Zhao Bing archers. All right, did some upgrading of units and expanded the retinue a little bit as well. Yuan Shao signs peace with Dong Zhou. Yuan Shu forms coalition with Liu Biao. That's pretty interesting. Gong Du declares war on the Yellow Turbans. Gong Du, isn't he a Yellow Turban himself? That's ironic. Okay, the Zanki tribes declare on, on me, it looks like. And Lady Zurong now, or Zurong, now declares the war. King Mulu is now intertwined in these wars as well. So the southwest is is a uh, is a powder keg of tribes and Liu Zhang 
Why are we losing public order in Shu? <coughs> Local forces. Is Duo C ambushing? That's what he's doing, isn't it? He has to be. Could build an inn. Government support. 464 plus 25% food production. I could do land surveying office. Kind of gives you a little bit of everything. Sniffed him out. Possible. Order must be obeyed. They can't retreat no. back. In the name of China, to continue would be our undoing. We have a reform available. Should probably look at some building reforms. All right, let's see what Duo C does this turn. Three attacks. Oh, so I'm not in range of the of the salt mine garrison. We're gonna retreat back. Retreat. Peace with the people. Eliminate chaos. All right, let's eliminate him. Time to finish off Duo C. I knew he was trying to ambush, and I didn't realize that I thought he was closer to the salt mine. Luckily, we were able to sniff out the ambush.
so they're gonna they'll come come in straight for me anyways. Hey, how's it going? How do you pronounce your name? Hi, um, is that, that looks Russian? Is it Miwar? Miwar? Did I say that right? I apologize if I'm saying it wrong. Ooh, should I? Tashi C, he's in good condition. Let's do the... Let's do the duel. I hope you're enjoying the stream. Watch out. The enemy lies in wait for us. Let's take a look at the duel. Actually, let's take a look at our forces. Should probably get the cavalry out on the flank, huh? Ooh, I hate those dark men. Let's take them out. Looks like Tashi's going to win this easily. We need to take out Duo C. That's what we need to do. The enemy general falls. We'll use hail arrows. Let's see if we can use that on Duo C. Did he do it? No, he didn't. to keep trying enough expository nonsense all right let's see let's let's take down duo c the enemy warriors are running let's see how this duel's going Looks like Tayashi will win the that. Enemy warriors are running. Don't get away. I don't think we're going to catch up to him. Come on, Tayashi. You always, you usually win, but you take forever. There you go. Nice. We have killed an enemy general. Another enemy of China falls. Decisive victory.
victory has been bestowed on us. It's another 800 in gold in that victory. Free the captives. Trying to replenish. Now let's ransom for another there 850. There is no need to detain them. Make them fear us. Order must be obeyed. Where's the river crossing? Here? Yin Yu levels up. I wonder if I can get him to legendary authority. Plus eight authority with clarity. Minus 25% building upkeep for administered commandary. He's the rock of Jiang Yang. We should give him a concubine for all the well done the well done work he has done in defending that city. Against wave after wave of attack. We got twin Marshal G. We'll give him the iron sickle. We're losing three food. I think I want to recruit a general, Yuan Ying. Legendary Sentinel. He might make a good administrator. We can make Huo Yu Grand Excellency Yuan Ying Administrator New Administrator of Shu of Chengdu Or did that go to Why can't I make him Administrator? I'm a little bit confused. He provides some pretty good bonuses. Plus 40 to commerce and silk and industry. Quickly. Your thoughts? 
Acknowledge your legitimacy. No, I reject that. Considering that I'm having a lot of imperial favor. Okay, and they're going after that farm again. Goddess of Fire. Uh-oh. Lady Zhurong, having reignited her inner flame, is descending upon her enemies with fury unmatched. For the next several seasons, her strength in battle will be overwhelming. Once these seasons are done, however, her fire will gutter and she will become vulnerable to counterattacks. Great. She does declare war on two on. Spread in all directions. Let's finish Duo C. Let feasting commence. Gain of ancillary. I will show mercy this time. I Good serve. Lord. Good Lord. Didn't know she was that deep into my territory. Cut them down. Obey the heart. Let's see what her force is composed of. They're not. I got some tiger warriors. We got the followers of the flame, which I think they're pretty. They got really high morale. Tiger Warriors are unbreakable, it looks like. So she's got some solid troops and some pretty awful troops. Legacy of Wu Ambition. All right, looks like Yin Yu has been called upon to defend the town of Zhang Yang again. This time against a pretty a stronger force, of 900 men. But the forces are relatively even. Let's start the battle.
Same thing, just get all the barricades up. So they're attacking from the same places they did before. We're going to use this basically the same strategy. Put archers here. We'll put spears here. Put them in shield wall. It looks like they might try to cross the bridge this time. We're going to put more spears here. Shield wall. We will keep the G infantry captain at this gate. We'll have Yin Yu in reserve. We'll have swords in reserve. We will have this archer unit here. This archer unit here. Let's begin. See where they actually attack. Looks like they're going to the undefended gate. Um, it looks like they're going with their whole force too. So let's see if I can get there quickly. I can pro well, I can defend this gate. Alright, so archers are attacking. You know, I should probably pull these archers over here too. They can stay back here. I just want to do a hit and run, hit and run. Now get out. General needs aid. Ready. One of their generals actually ran. Oh, they have, they do have elephants. Was Yin Yu wavering? No, he's unbreakable. Why did I t oh, they're just he's taking damage. Thought for a second there he was wavering. Our warriors run. Oh, who's running? Because those freaking elephants. Oh, but the elephants are 
kill them. Kill them. I gotta get my. I gotta secure my base. Those spears are gonna do some damage to my cavalry. I need to get out of there. The enemy unit flees. Looks like their entire army is starting to waver completely. We'll claim the uh, another heroic victory by Yin Yu. Our victory is proof of heaven's approval. Why am I losing income now? They have suffered enough. Return them to their kin. All right, another garrison battle. This time I might not win. Meng Zhai and Wang Xing. Wang Xiang. Well, these units aren't that. But the Naman Slingers, well, Nanjong Champions, those guys look a little bit tougher. So, what is this, the salt mine or the, it's not the lumber yard, it's got to be the salt mine. Are they really attacking the salt mine? I thought uh, that was defended. I wonder if I'm better off just defending here and here. I think we're going to try it. We 
We are going to try it. And then maybe the towers will just weaken them up a little bit, soften them up. Going to find out real quick. Slingers, we got the Nanman champions. Those aren't even high morale units though. Oh, javelin throwers. It's funny. They're not going to directly attack. I reinforce them. Oh, they are wavering. Run. Ming, I think Meng Zhai is going to... No, he's not going to attack them. Archers are starting to waver. Our men are running. Our warriors run. Yeah, it looks like game over there.
decisive defeat. Oh, that was a farm. What is this? Lady... Okay. Lady Zhurong takes me on head on. She's got the fire in her belly. Alright, this should be a, a doozy of a battle. This will be a doozy. They have no cavalry, though. Oh, wow. She's like... She's like Lu Bu strong in instinct. So we definitely want to try to get that. She's a level five. Definitely want to get that uh, hail of arrows on her if we can. So she's probably she'll probably try to offer a duel. Now we do get to defend. Not sure if I get if I have any bonuses to being on defense. I might. Where do we want to try to defend? Maybe right here? So the Dong Zhao being defenders will guard this flank here. Put these two swords on the right flank as a res infantry reserve. Though this is probably the weak spot of the line. Although I have the cavalry in reserve back here.
All right, and we wait for the enemy to approach us. Oh, there they are. Men are spotted. They have fire arrows. Try to weaken these uh, archers. I, hit, I do have these swords that can maybe weaken up these spearmen. Right, time to get in the rear. Spears are going to cause some problems, oh, but they're not well formed. Look, the enemy run. Those tiger warriors are unbreakable. Oh my, oh no, my units are routing, not good. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Our warriors run. This is not good. Form. Our men are running, the spineless cowards. That was crazy. Oh, Liu Zhang's about to get crushed. <sighs> Not good. This was my best army. All right, get out. Let's just get out.
our men flee the battlefield. The hell. Wow, that was devastating. That was devastating. I mean, uh, I lost about 700 men, I think. I lost about 600. The battle did not go our way. It sure didn't. We must withdraw. Oh, we wounded Lady Zhu wrong. The ba See, this can't be right, though. The battle won. Our general chases down enemy general. We lost that battle, though. All right. To war! I believe right will prevail. We have reinforcements. I mean, the economy is still good. Imperial favor for another two more turns. And that's it's only minus 30% upkeep, so... Yeah, maybe I will be losing money. We're going to do one more turn here. Lost the farm. We were still making 14 food. But that's with the plus 10% or plus 10 food production. Peace through conquest. Let's see what the next turn unveils. What kind of move will Lady Zhurong make? I don't get the reinforcements. Oh, why? Because of the night battle? Retreat! All right, let's try this again. So not sure exactly what was wrong with the tactics. Maybe trying to take on Lady Zhurong head on before all the units were defeated. I mean, they have some good generals, though. Those fire archers maybe were 
weakening my morale worse than I had thought. Try to just go up on this hill again. Let's do that. Actually, shield walls might be a better. It might be better for this because of the. The uh, missile bonus. I'm actually going to get these guys on the flanks like this. guys Fight fire with fire. Enemy warriors are running! Right, I need to get the archers on there. Now that flaming shot guy. Alright, come on, Lu Zhang.
Oh, Tayashi, see? Tayashi's getting crushed. Ugh. Get back here. We're gonna lose this again. All my foot soldiers. The enemy unit, please. What cowards! All right, everything's on Lady Zurong, I guess. Oh, can we defeat her? Come on, everything. I've got everything left. Ah, oh, those stupid flame archers are crushing me. Ooh, but we're not we're knocking her down. We're knocking her down. No, you guys cannot run away. No! Where are my archers? All of our generals have fallen. Our lieutenant will take command now. The fate of the battle rests with him. God damn it. Just run away. They are overwhelming us. Well, that's not good. We must continue for the brave who fell. Fall back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see if Ian Yu can score another victory, though. These Nan Man tribes are just unrelenting.
I didn't pull these guys back. Quick, get back. The enemy warriors are running. Now let's go back. Back over here. General falls. No. Yin Yu is going to be the defender of Shu. The entire, the entire faction. over here. Does battle wear you out? Look for your own troubles before mine. Followers of the flame. Our warriors run! Enemy unit flees. Jing. Let's take out Jing. Oh, these using these units are starting to rally.
Success looms large. All right, we got it. We're able to defend the city. Um, defend the city one more time. Those followers of the flame. They look crazy. From the roots to heaven. They have suffered enough. We'll ransom they them fought all only for, for their money. beliefs. Oh man. Every turn there's a battle. Looks like Lady Zhurong though fled. Oh no, she's right there. Never mind. with conviction and strike true a true heart <laughs> it almost looked like he was missing an arm thought he lost his arm in battle should we give him the twin the twin Marshal G. All right, I think this is where I'm gonna leave it at the end of this um, episode. So you see, we got Lady Zhurong in in Fuego uh, wreaking havoc on my armies. This is the first time I've really had trouble with the enemy armies uh, we can attack here and gain the uh, garrison support I believe right will prevail truth is an unquenchable place. so actually this would be the better He's army to choose so it looks like we'll, we should be able to win that battle uh, when we pick this up tomorrow so we will we will continue this campaign tomorrow at 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, if you are following this um, or discover this on YouTube, um, I would be greatly appreciated if you like the video, hit the like button, um, subscribe, leave comments, whatever, anything. Um, I would be greatly appreciated if you, if you discover this on Twitch. Or if you want to go to YouTube, that'd be great too. Um, you can leave a follow um, on Twitch even. Um, I'm streaming this to all the platforms just just to get it out there. Um, so, again, thank you for anyone that has uh, been enjoying the campaign so far. Uh, I will see you tomorrow for another episode of Li Yu Yan, the Total War, Three Kingdoms. Fates Divided campaign. So we will see you on the next one. Thank you.